Go, don't play with it, don't be the size. Hey, still not understanding. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Drinker K. Yeah. I just feel like my intros are not good. Like, I'm trying to find an intro that's like really me. That just captures, you know, my personality. I don't know, but we, we just gonna go with it. It's, it's whatever. So y'all, this is serious business. This is serious, serious business. Like, this is serious business. Cause like, oh. This is crazy. I've never really felt like this before. Well, I have, but not like being that I'm like really deep in my journey right now. I have a crush, you guys. I really have a crush on somebody. So, um, I decided to make this video because it's just like I... I don't know what to do, but there's really nothing that I can do because I know that it's not like I know that this person is not my person, but it's just like at the same time, I still like have a crush on somebody, you know, and I'm just I'm, I'm a very shy girl. I actually had a chance. Um, I actually had a chance to meet him and I ran away. I had a chance to talk to him on the phone and I ran away. Yeah. So it's just like this it's 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 just gonna stay a crush. Um my cousin, she did talk to him and like she told him, you know, that she knew someone that was interested in um in him. That's what she told him and he was like, give her my number. And I just was like, I, I'm not gonna be the one to text first, like, cause I'm scary, like, not because I feel like I'm, I'm too good, but I'm, I'm scary also. And then also, I just, I, it's a distraction. That is a major distraction. So it's like, why go down that journey when I know how it's going to go? I know what's going to be expected, and I, I'm just, I'm not her. I'm, I'm not that girl so it's just kind of cute when I crush because that's literally all that it can be is a crush I, I won't shoot my shot or anything like that because I just know like I'm focused on I'm focused on the journey I'm focused on the dream I'm focused on what I want in my life I have like this this plan this game plan but this game plan it has enough space for the Lord to work his way it, it, I made sure that this time when I wrote out, you know, wrote out a little something, I made sure I made room for the Lord to have his way because he always will. And his way is much better than mine. I'm, I'm so focused. I'm, I've decided what I want for my life and anything that does not look like it, I'm just ignoring it. And that's been temptation because I've been had this crush for like um, since the beginning of September is when I realized, you know, that this person was a person of interest and that he was like, you know, cute. But um, as I began to like, you know, kind of ask around, not even ask around because I only mentioned him to my um, cousin and I mentioned him to my sister. And I mean, I ain't got any bad news or anything, but I did get some things that, you know, I'm just like, you know, that's exactly why I'm cool on it. I'm straight. I'm not going down that road and it's just like why waste my time and why waste his when I know that I'm not on that level that you know he would that type of time and that he would think for me to be on like so why why waste his time right you know so I'm just gonna let it alone it's just gonna continue to be a crush because you really can't date when you're on this journey because like you'll realize a lot of stuff that you used to go for and you no longer you know will go for it and it's just like something just stops you because at first i was like you know what give me his number i'm gonna text him i i got the number and i remember and i just was like 
I was like, no. Like, it just wasn't happening. Like, I couldn't bring myself to it. And, like, even now, like, I kind of want to reach out. But it's just like, why do it? You know? So, it's always going to be like this resistance. It's um conviction. But it's conviction because I, I know better. I know that this is not my person. So, why waste my time? And also, I just find it really weird, very strange that... The minute that I start praying for my person, whoever he is, like, I've just been going ahead and just saying a prayer for whoever I'm supposed to end up with. I've been um, praying for the Lord to bring my person in to, you know, work on me and heal me so that I can be the best version of myself for when I do meet whoever's to come in my life. But it's so crazy. Anytime that I get this feeling, it, it's weird. Anytime I start doing this and I go ahead and I start praying for my person, all kinds of distractions always come like into the picture because last time when I started praying for um, my person my baby daddy came back in my, into the picture um, this guy that I was once talking to he came back into the picture and I'm just like the enemy is very sneaky like he think I don't know what he be doing but I got it figured out now which is why I've been praying against the spirit of temptation because I'm not going back that way like I am making sure that I know exactly where I'm at right now I'm making sure I'm looking at everything that's occurring because back then when I started feeling these feelings and you know developing well this is the first time I'm, I'm developing a crush because I don't really go anywhere to see anybody, but I don't even really know how I even just, how this even started. It just literally came out the blue light and I was just crushing hard, but I'm, I'm noticing like now like these feelings of like loneliness and just wanting to text somebody. I know exactly what it is. I'm not lonely. This is just peace. I'm not used to peace in my life because when I tell you, my baby daddy used to have me in so much like... I used to be in shambles when I used to talk to him and this guy that I was once entertaining, I was just, it was just always something with them. So I realized like I'm not lonely right now because there's a lot of stuff that I can be doing. I'm taking probability and statistics. I'm struggling right now. I could be studying. So I'm not lonely. I'm not bored. I have a lot of stuff that I can do. Zealand, um, entertain, uh, he, he occupies a lot of my time. I just started a new job. I'm not lonely. Like this is just the, um, this is just a, a temptation it's trying to make me to fall back into my old ways and to start talking to someone that is not even my my person you know so I'm, I'm recognizing the patterns I'm recognizing the patterns because I'm climbing up that mountain and I'm not falling back down that mountain again just for me to have to climb back up slowly I'm going to keep excelling like, I got it now. I've been praying against the spirit of temptation. I've been asking the Lord to, um, you know, just strengthen me and, you know, show me what I'm supposed to be doing right now in my life. Just really staying really close um, corners with the Heavenly Father and, and praying more and asking Him to just, you know, change me and, you know, purify my heart, you know, because now is that time for that because I just really feel like... I know that he has blessed me with his job and I'm so very thankful, but it's, let me see, how can I put it? Help me, Holy Spirit. Your walk with God is not going to be perfect because um, we, we're just all sinners. Nobody's perfect but God. But the walk with God, your walk with Christ, is it's, it's going to be interesting, especially if you're following it the right way. Like, I can't even explain the joy that I feel when I'm in alignment and then the Lord brings something onto the path, like, with his job. That made me realize, like, the Lord really does have a plan, you know, for my life. Because I am a believer, but it just confirms everything. It confirms the promise that the Lord has for me. And so it just kind of puts me at ease. And it's like this feeling of excitement. It's, it's keeping me excited. It's keeping me wanting to stay on a journey to keep seeking Him. You know, because I get excited when I hear from the Lord. Like, I be feeling good. Like, I be feeling really good or... Especially if it's in a way like he might deliver a message in a way that we won't think is, you know, quite coming. Like, it might be something somebody walk up to you and, you know, say something, you know, to you. And then it's just like, because trust me, when he's speaking to you, you're going to know. It's not always going to be audible. But when the Lord is speaking to you, you're going to know. And if you're not sure if it's him, then you ask him, Heavenly Father, 
Father, if that's you, show me something. Or Heavenly Father, just ask him if, it, if, it, if, it's, if it's him. Because he will he will let you know. But um Yeah, I'm 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 interested right now in this journey. Like it's it's I can't explain the joy that I feel when I'm chasing after the Lord and um versus when I'm chasing the things of this world. Like I'm in a great place right now and one of the biggest things that I'm always constantly praying is no weapon formed against me shall prosper and I just keep telling myself they may form but they won't prosper and that's just one of the things now like especially with this probability and statistics class you guys I don't know it's, it's not looking too good but I, I just keep telling myself like it's going to work out I'm going to find a way to study better that grade that I got right now it's only temporary I'm going to find a way to raise it because right now y'all it's not good it's all in the first week and I'm feeling I, I, I kind of saw it coming because I'm, I'm not really good at math but I'm trusting the Lord with this and I'm not even asking him to like pull this rabbit out the hat even though I know he can but I'm, I've really been asking him help me to find ways to study better to um, you know put me in the right direction that can give me better understanding so that I can actually you know do this work for this class because you know victory just feels good when you know you actually work for it you know what I'm saying so yeah I'm not really asking for nothing too spectacular. I really want to try to, you know, learn it for myself. But my main concern is just making it out of this class with a with a passing grade because I want to keep moving forward. Like graduation is literally next year, you know. So, um, please, y'all, pray for me, please. Like, I need prayers to, um, you know, right now to strengthen me. Prayers to help me pass this class, y'all. Wish me well, please. Please, you guys, like, I need it. I don't normally ask for, you know, prayers or anything like that. But your girl needs it, y'all. She needs it because, child, whew. And that's literally the only thing that has been worrying me, which is why, I like, I'm like, I don't have no time to be trying to crush on nobody. I got bigger fish to fry, like, I don't have no time for that. And heavy on the, I'm not going to waste this boy's time because that's exactly what's going to happen. Because I might start off all thrilled about it in the beginning, but then something in me is going to be like, what are you doing? And then he's just going to get blocked. Then it's probably going to make him think like, you know, was it him or it might make him think that I'm weird when I'm not. I'm just really a girl that just, that's trying to do right. That's awesome. Yeah. That's it. Just a girl that's just trying to do right.